How's it going everyone? I'm gonna try and make this really quick. I'm gonna go through all the gear that I finished the PCT with. I didn't do the whole PCT. I did about 600 miles of it. And this is really like mostly Sierra equipment for a warm year. No micro spikes, no ice axe. So let's just get to it. I, uh, this is the Columbia Silver Ridge. Hiked in this every day. Um, these are just some regular fishing pants, I think. Little zip-off pants. What I like about them is they have the cargo pocket and then also like a pocket underneath the pocket. And then the, uh, there's a pocket on the back that zips so I can put my wallet in there. I know it's like angled low, so I'm, I'm not really that tall. Also with, with the shoes, I went with the Ultra Lone Peaks. These are the fives. I went with the fanny pack too. Basically, I just had some attachment sunglasses that went on there over my prescription glasses. Oh, this is my friend Jocko. He didn't do the PCT with me, but this is my parents' dog. He's uh, been attached to me ever since I got back. He's good. He's a good dude. Hopefully, we can do a hike together sometime. <laughs> but yeah, other things that I kept in here, I had some sunscreen and everything for my vlogging equipment, which was basically just a tripod, which is... Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry, man. Just an Ultrapod 2, tiny little tripod. And then I had a, uh, a one of those like little phone mounts that I put on there. So I would just kind of keep that all accessible. I had that and I had a Rode Wireless Go mic that I would just keep in here. And all that stuff was in here. And then this po front pocket was really nice for like snacks, like little uh, little treats, not dog treats though. I'll give you a treat in a minute, all right? We'll go through the rest of this. This is a hat. I wear this hat a lot. I've seen a lot of people wearing those out there. Definitely want to cover the ears. These are my trekking poles. They are the Black Diamond um, Alpine Carbon. Worked really well. Yeah, and we'll go through my pack. It's pretty much still set up for the Sierra. I did send this, ba this bear can home. You can see that there's the, the bear can is in there but um, I'll just let you guys check it out. I kind of went through this before in the other video that I shot before, beforehand. Still got the umbrella, carried that through the desert and through the Sierra. Was glad I had it through some of the southern parts of the Sierra. I mean, that's pretty much the only part of the Sierra that I did if you guys kept up with the vlog, but yeah, that's, I'm not gonna go through this too detailed, but these are my tent poles. I have a Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2 and the umbrella. Yeah, I guess we'll just start with the bottom pocket. This is my Tyvek for the ground sheet. And then I hitched into Reno, so I just wrote Reno on it. R worked well, got me there. And then I've got uh, Frog Tog rain pants. Here's my tent that, again, Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2. And this is my Sea to Summit Ultralight 2. I, I, I did start with this, if you guys watched my previous gear video, and it actually popped. But I will say, the one that I had before this, it lasted me six years. And I've done a lot of backpacking with it, so I decided to get another one. I picked this one up at Two Foot Adventures in Kennedy Meadows. And it worked well for the rest of the hiking that I did with it. I just like keeping the tent down there. So that way, packing it up in the mornings, uh, if it is raining in the morning, I can pack everything up in this compartment and then everything in there will stay dry for the most part. And I can pack up my wet tent in there. In this little stretchy pocket, this is my dirty water bottle. A little smart water bottle. These are for my pants, zip offs. We've got my toilet paper, my trowel, and these are my gaiters, which I usually have on my feet. And I have a, some rope when I don't have my bear can. I just kept it in there. That's pretty much it there. Sometimes leaving town, I'd get some chips or something and I'd throw them, stuff them in that little stretchy pocket. And we'll just go through this pocket. These are my like clothing items that I don't keep in my little clothing stuff sack. This is... Um, I do keep two pairs of gloves, which is kind of funny, but I, I, I don't like having cold hands. So I have these like rain mitts. Oh, yeah, I do keep some masks in here. It is the time of COVID. So these are 
the like rain mitts, these REI Gore-Tex uh, rain mitt covers, and then some fleece gloves. And that I feel is, is enough for those pop-up rain showers that can get kind of chilly or just a cold morning or a night hike. This is my first aid kit. Not gonna go too much through that. It's pretty basic. And I have some gold bond. I have a little mirror. And then I have some emergency water tablets, which are just those like uh, portable aqua tablets. That is all that is in that pocket. So I'm just gonna load it back up. All right, in the other pocket, we've got my little towel, my water filter, the Sawyer squeeze, the big one, my spoon, and my rain cover, pack rain cover. I believe that's all I kept in there. I guess we'll go over to the hip belt pockets. So what is in here is not much because I really don't like the hip belt pockets on this Osprey Atmos. This is the original version. I think on the newer versions, they've done a lot better with them, so they're more stretchy. But basically in here, I have my Garmin InReach Mini. I don't like to put my Garmin InReach on my shoulder strap. I see a lot of people doing that. I think it's kind of flashy. It's not really, I think it's genius marketing on Garmin's part to have everybody flashing those on their shoulder straps but uh, I just put it in here. I feel like it's more secure. I can still get to it if I really need it. <laughs> and I did need it um, at one point in my hike. But yeah, basically in this little bag, I have my lighter, my Garmin, and my headlamp. So stuff that I need, basically when it gets dark, I just pull this whole bag out. And then I have a bug net in here, which I never used, not once. And my headlight, if anybody's curious, it's the Nightcore NU25. In this pocket, I've got an extra thing of chapstick. I usually keep some chapstick in my fanny pack, but I just like to keep an extra one, especially running through the desert. That's something you don't want to run out of. And then I got some nail clippers, tweezers, and then uh, some hand sanitizer. I also keep some gloves in here, just in case I'm in a first aid situation. Pretty unlikely, but at least I have it. That is all that is in the hip belt pockets. So I'm gonna load this back up and we'll go through the pack itself. No brain on it. I did take it off and send that home. Um, I should have done that from the beginning. So basically, this is my rain jacket. It's a frog tog. Frog togs for the win. And then I've got my two liter platypus, one of those Nalgene bags. Seemed to be fairly popular. This thing treated me well, man. I had two of them, they never popped on me. I was really careful with them. So I heard some people complaining about them, but they'd like fill them up, shove them in their packs, throw them on the ground. That's something I was really careful with. This is my Puffy. It's a, uh, just an REI co-op Puffy. Um, then I had my maps. I did use the Pacific Crest Trail maps. I liked having them. I think people just doing gut hooks are, I don't think that's very safe but you know, hike your own hike, I guess. Carried some pens, a marker, just so I could like, like I got in a jam and was able to hitchhike with that. So it, that justifies me carrying it. And then just a little paper is nice to have, taking some notes and whatnot, uh, to-do list, things like that. Uh, this is my like electronics bag. I'll go through that in just a second. And, Got my cook pot. This is my cook pot here. I guess I'll show you that real quick. I was able to condense everything and got my stove in here, which is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2, which is, I don't have the little case for it, but I just wrap it in a bandana. And then I have a, one of the giant ones. I usually carry the smaller one. If anybody's curious, this is the Tokes um, Titanium 1100 milliliter. Um, so that's cool. It does fit the larger ones and the smaller ones. So I really like this pot. It's like the perfect size. It's a little bulky in the pack, but if you don't mind that, you can have some really big meals in here. It fits those, the entire box of potato, entire bag of Idaho potatoes. Here's my beer can. And then basically the only things I have in here is this is my like clothes bag. And this is my sleeping bag. 
So this is an Enlightened Equipment Enigma inside of a sea to, stomach, sea to Summit compression sack. And all my clothes are in here. This is, I'll go through that here in just a second. Doesn't seem like much, but it's everything that I need. So I'll just go through the clothes real quick. I'll just pull everything out. Oh, I do have my, my blow up pillow in here. I have a camp shirt, just a really cheap plastic shirt. I have an extra set of socks. I have an REI, or I'm sorry, a Patagonia R1 hoodie. And I have my full base layer. I always generally just like to have that in case I get like a cold snap, especially hiking at elevation like that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Extra pair of underwear right here. That's, that's it, man. That is it. I'm just gonna stuff this in here, then I'll go through the electronics. All right, so here's the electronics. I don't think I'm gonna open it up, but I have like one of the lightest weight Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour batteries. I have a pair of headphones and one of those dual charger ports. It's just got, you know, it's like got one of these. So you can charge the battery bank and I can charge my phone. And that's basically it. I was just vlogging with my phone. So nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy as far as video equipment, other than this wireless mic, which I think was uh, worth the wait. I really think having, uh, being able to do vlogs while I was breaking down camp was really cool, something I didn't really do enough. How's it going everyone? I'm about a mile north of Highway 79. Yeah, I really wish I would have started with this. I think I would have done a lot better. I, I don't know if you guys saw the shakedown that I had from Peace Dog, but that was um, really helpful. I was able to drop like somewhere in the neighborhood of over four pounds of stuff. That's, uh, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.